Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more NFL picks. Uh, last week, I started this new series. A lot of you guys were receptive to it. I don't know how many new fans that I got in the actual channel, but um, <clears throat> it's more of a passion thing of mine. I love the NFL, as I mentioned last week. And last week's picks, I did respectable for week one. I went nine and seven. Um, not great, but it is positive. So let's keep the momentum going. Let's try to do even better this week. Last week, there were so many weird games, and that Saints game... A big upset right there. So these are pretty casual. Of course, I got my Vikings mug. So take a sip of that and uh, let's get on to the games. By the way, I'm not going to be having the logo of the team up here. It took way too long to edit that because I had to go download the actual logos and then put them up here. Um, so just listen to what I'm saying and it'll be just fine. All right, tonight's game, well, at least. I'm putting this episode up on Thursday morning, so it's tonight's game, Thursday Night Football. We have Ravens at Bengals. Man, the Ravens. The Ravens just destroyed Buffalo at home, or at at Baltimore. The Bills are probably the worst team in the NFL this year, at least on the roster, and, and the coaching staff, personally, I think. So it's kind of hard to tell how good the Ravens are, but I, I at Bengals, the Bengals got away with a win in... Uh, uh, Indianapolis last weekend. This should be a good game. This is a rivalry game after all. Same division. Uh, they always play each other tough. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the Ravens. I feel like they're more of a solid team than the Bengals, but it would not surprise me at all if the Bengals won this game. Uh, divisional games are really hard to pick. So yeah, first game. I'm gonna give that to the Ravens. Next game, the back to the Sunday games on September 16th. We have Panthers at Falcons. Another divisional game. Uh, I do think the Falcons are going to bounce back a little bit this week in terms of performance uh, because the first week was so weird. They didn't play very well. The red zone was terrible. Uh, the Panthers obviously coming off a win against the Cowboys. Um, Cam Newton looked good. The whole team looked good in general, but they did get some injuries. I think they lost uh, Greg Olson to an injury as well as another player. So they're a little bit banged up, and it's at – Atlanta. I don't see Atlanta falling to 0-2 this early in the season. Um, so I'm going to give this to Atlanta at home. I think they bounce back. I think it'll be a close game, just like all these divisional games. You can never really pick them because they know each other so well. The game's logic is kind of thrown out the window in that regard, but I do think the Falcons will bounce back. They had a rough week one, and I think they can do better. All right, next game we have Colts at Redskins. Okay, the Redskins like I said last week, are a better team than people think. And they actually went into Arizona and stomped the Cardinals. Um, the Colts lost a narrow game to the Bengals, as I mentioned earlier. Um, Andrew Luck looked okay, but I think one of his first passes got picked. Uh, he's still a little bit rusty. And they're going to Redskins, who I think are a very well-rounded team. I'm going to pick the Redskins in this game. I think the Redskins are going to come out on top. Adrian Peterson looked five years younger again. He looks pretty good. Alex Smith looked great, and uh, the defense gave Arizona a lot of problems. So, yeah, in Washington, I'm going to go with the Redskins. Next, we have Texans at Titans. Another divi this game this weekend has so many divisional games. Um, so the Texans coming off a uh, a box score wise close game to the Patriots, but um, if you watch the game, it wasn't super close. The Patriots had pretty decent control of that game. Um, Deshaun Watson played decently, but he, he even said in the after interview, you can play a lot better and they're going to a Titans team, which looks like it's just deprived of any sort of mojo whatsoever. Uh, they lost a weird game to the dolphins. Another weird game from week one, the whole game from the beginning to end was seven hours long because there was a lightning storm that interrupted it, but that's neither here nor there. The Titans don't look like a very solid team to me. Um, I, tr I trust John Hopkins and Deshaun Watson and J.J. Watt to handle business on the road. I'm going to go with the Texans at or over the Titans. Next, we have Eagles at Buccaneers. Uh, Eagles obviously coming off a very, at least defensively, convincing game in week one uh, over the Atlanta Falcons. But I, like I said before, that was a very strange game. I don't put a whole lot of stock into it. Speaking of not putting a lot of stock into things, the Buccaneers, that was the surprise of week one. They go into the Superdome in New Orleans and just obliterate, at least offensively, the Saints. 
Um, the Saints defense didn't have an answer for Ryan Fitzpatrick or Ryan Fitzmagic, however you want to call him. Um, he had a very good game. I don't necessarily expect that to continue throughout the season. This might this might sound strange, but I think this is the hardest game to pick of the week because I just don't know what to think. I don't know if Nick Foles, the magic has run out with him, but I know his defense is still great. The Buccaneers, it's at home, and if they can carry over even like half the performance they had last week, this could be a close game. Um, you know, I'm going to go with Fitzmagic. I know. This is my upset pick of the week. I think that the Buccaneers will upset the Eagles at home. Um, and it's not an indictment to the Eagles. I think they're a good team. I just think the Bucks have some weird mojo going on early on in the season. I expect it to carry over at least one week. So I could be wrong. I feel like I'm already wrong when I say this, but the Buccaneers will beat the Eagles this week. Um, next, we have Chiefs at Steelers, another hard game to pick. Uh, the Chiefs, they kind of, I wouldn't say stomped the Chargers, but they offensively just didn't have any opposition. Um, Patrick Mahomes played well. I don't get all the hype that's going around him right now because I, although he did play well, it was the players around him that really did good. Uh, Tyreek Hill had a great game. Uh, and I do think they're a solid team. I'm, I'm very... I'm very wary of their defense, though. Their defense is not as good as they appeared in uh, the game against the Chargers. And then we have the Steelers, the 0-0-1 Steelers. Why is that? They tied the Browns. By the way, I counted that game as a loss. So I I could technically be 9-6-1, but I gave myself 9-7 because I don't really count ties like that. I'm just going to count as a loss. It's not not a big deal to me. Um, They're coming off a tie to to the Browns. But if you know Mike Tomlin and you know the Steelers at all, they always underperform on the road against inferior teams. They do it every year. That's why I never have faith in the Steelers, on the road at least. But they are at home. They don't have Le'Veon Bell, which could be an issue. But this could be a really close game. I am gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Chiefs. Purely because I don't think the Steelers defense is all that great. And I think the Chiefs will do enough damage on offense to mitigate their bad defense. I know that's kind of an upset pick as well, but I just think the Chiefs have a little more juice kick, uh, going with them right now. So I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Um, Dolphins at Jets. Speaking of just crazy upsets, the week one, the Jets go into Detroit and just... That was by far the worst performance I've ever seen from an NFL team. The, the, the Lions, they looked lost. They looked... Inept. They Matthew Stafford threw four picks. One of them was a pick six. At least one of them. I think it might have been two, but I'm pretty sure it was just one. And the Jets. I know the Jets knew their play calls and stuff like that because they they though apparently the Lions didn't change up their hand signals from last year, which is a big mistake on their part. So the Jets read them like a book and destroyed them. And Sam Darnold looked pretty good. His first his first pass ever was a pick six which will make all the jokes you want, but he actually played pretty well the rest of the game. So it's at Jets. I'm going to go with the Jets because I like Sam Darnold a lot, and I think the team has a, some fun energy to him. I've never trusted the Dolphins in my life. Sorry, Dolphins fans. I just I don't trust Ryan Tannehill. The coaching staff is not something that I think is a strong suit for that team, and just it's at Jets too. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to go with Jets. Chargers at Bills. Like I said, the Bills are probably the worst team in the NFL uh, roster-wise. And the Chargers are coming off a very disappointing game. I think they're going to bounce back here. It's at Bu- it's at Buffalo. So they're literally crossing as far as you can go from, like, Southern California to to the Northeast. Like, it's that's a, that's a far travel. Um, so then maybe that has something to do with it. But... Um, uh, something that like maybe that's a negative. Um, actually, it is a negative, but I, I am gonna go with the Chargers. I just I can't see the Bills beating the Chargers. I can't. I really can't. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with the Chargers. Vikings at Packers. Uh, my Vikings. They performed pretty solidly in Week One. I'm very happy about that. Kirk Cousins looked good. He didn't do. Any, they didn't ask him to do a whole lot. He threw two touchdowns, no picks, 250 yards about, and had a nice solid game. And the defense. When the game was getting close toward the end, they just stranglehold of the Niners and didn't let go, and they forced Jimmy G to throw a bunch of picks. 
And that's how they won the game. Just a solid, consistent offense and a, a suffocating defense. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the Packers, obviously everyone saw the Monday night game where Aaron Rodgers hurt his knee and then came back in at halftime, I think. I can't remember when he came back in, but they were down like 17-0. Um, and on a bum leg, Aaron Rodgers lifted his team up. He's like, no, we are not losing to the Bears at home and just forced the victory. He just he grabbed the game by the hand and said, no, we're not losing this. And Aaron Rodgers just does, does what Aaron Rodgers does. And took over the game. The Bears had no answer for him. And Aaron Rodgers does what Aaron Rodgers does. And he just was amazing. Um, but that being said, the Vikings are a much tougher team than the Bears. Actually, I think the Bears are a pretty good team, pretty good team this year. But the Vikings are better. They have the best defense in the NFL, in my opinion. And the offense, I think, can easily pick apart this Packers defense. I really do think so. Um, and Aaron Rodgers is, if he does play, he's going to have still have a hurt leg and I don't see him escaping pressure from that front seven particularly well. Um, I do think it'll be a close game. It is Aaron Rodgers. It is at Lambeau, but I'm going to give this to the Vikings and I'm not being biased. I just, that's just my, that's just my opinion. I, I respect Aaron Rodgers greatly as I, as I just said. Um, so I'm going to go with the Vikings there. Uh, I realize I haven't been giving scores for these. Uh, I'll do that again next week. I just forgot. Sorry about that. Uh, Browns at Saints, man, one team that performed kind of better than people expected and another where they did not perform well at all. I know Drew Brees and I don't know him personally, but I know what kind of person he is and he is going to get that team ship shape for week two. He's going to give them a rousing speech. The defense will play better. The offense will already played great last week, but they'll play it better anyway because that's what Drew Brees does. And they're welcoming the Browns, who are, I think, a much improved team. Um, but I'm going to go with the Saints here. Yeah. All right. So now we have the Lions at 49ers. Um, hmm. The Lions are coming off that disappointing game, like I mentioned. The Niners have a lot of injuries to their team. Uh, I really thought Jimmy G played better than his box box score said. Personally, um, man, what do I what do I pick in this game? I'm gonna go with the Lions, and I and I don't mean this out of respect for the Niners, but the Lions, all my all my years of watching them, they're in the same division as the Vikings. They have really strange things about them. They can get blown out one week, and then they can bounce back and have a good game the next week. It's just weird. I, I can't explain it. That's purely the reason I'm picking them. And I know that sounds absurd because it is, but just trust me. Well, don't trust me with like a pick or a bet. Don't bet your money on this. But I have a hunch that the Lions will win. I have no actual reasons as to why. The Niners are a better team in my opinion, but can I say? Next, we have the Cardinals at the Rams. This one's easy. I think the Rams are going to stomp the Cardinals. Uh... The Cardinals just looked so lifeless at home last week. Um, and it was a solid Redskins team they lost against, but come on. I Something's up with the Cardinals. Uh, they just they should put Josh Rosen in. I think Josh Rosen, Rosen he's good enough to get some ex, uh, experience this year. Um, but this is at Rams, and the Rams have such a solid team. I just can't pick against them. I'm going Rams in this one. Patriots at Jaguars. A rematch of last year's AFC title game. This one's interesting. Very interesting. So, I don't think the Patriots are as good as they were last year. I think they'd have lost some key people. Uh, and I, I, But the Jaguars have Blake Bortles, who leaves a lot to be desired. He didn't play terribly great last week against the Giants. It's at Jacksonville. I don't know what to make of this game. Part of me doesn't want to bet against the Patriots, but the defense of the Jaguars, I think, is the deciding factor in this game. And I'm going to go with the Jaguars. I think it'll be a close game. I don't really know. I, I don't have any confidence in picking them, but I when I can't decide, I typically go with the home team. And that's what I'm doing here. And the Jaguars' defense is also a deciding factor. So I'm going to go Jaguars. Next, we have Raiders at Broncos. The Raiders, John Gruden. His first game, not terribly great, but also not terribly bad either. Um, 
they didn't play a fantastic football game against the Rams, but they were respectable. Um, and they're going to the Broncos, who I who were so up and down week one. Case Keenum threw three picks, but still played well, believe it or not. I, I know three that sounds crazy. I think he played well personally. Um I'm going to give this to the Broncos. I think the Broncos are a better team right now. I think the Raiders are in a low key kind of build rebuild mode. And, um, you know, I, I, I respect the Broncos at home. It's a tough place to play. Uh, the defense looks very good as always. Von Miller is a beast. Uh, I think case Keenum is a good quarterback. I really enjoyed it watching him last year in the Vikings. And I think he gets it done here. It'll be a close game though. It's a divisional game, but I'm going to go Broncos. Giants at Cowboys. This one's easy. I'm going to give this one to the Giants. And why do you say I'm going to give it to the Giants? The Cowboys looked so lost last week offensively. Their offensive line is not what it once was. It is not. It used to be the best in the NFL. No question. Ask any expert. They'll tell you that the Cowboys have the best offensive line. But in 2018, it's just kind of mediocre. Uh, they have some people hurt. Some people are gone. Uh, some people aren't the players they used to be. And their offense has degraded to the point where it's just give the ball to Zeke or try to throw it to Zeke or try to throw it to receivers that don't exist. Uh, ever since Des Bryant's gone and Jason was Jason went and retired, they don't have anyone to throw to. They it just it was kind of sad to watch against the Panthers because they really couldn't do much except for Zeke. And Zeke is a beast and he's on my fantasy team, so I hope he does well. But the Giants are just kind of more well rounded, and I I got to give it to them. I got to respect them here. Going Giants. Last game of week two, Monday Night Football. We have Seahawks at the Bears. I'm going to give this game to the Bears. I'm going to be straight up with it. I think the Bears are a very good team this year. Not very good, but a good team. Uh, Trubisky played well. They kind of choked a little bit in that game against the Packers. Literally all they have to do is once Aaron Rodgers gets back, score a touchdown. You were doing so well in the first half. What happened? Like Your play calling just kind of went away. Um but they're at home. They're welcoming a Seahawks team, which has Russell Wilson, of course. But they have so many flaws in that team right now. And I don't know. I'm going to give it to the Bears. So, All right, that's my week two NFL picks. Some may think I'm insane. Some people think that I picked them well. Who knows? Um, I'll probably miss a lot of these. There's a lot of coin flip games. A lot of these are divisional games, which would be very close. Um, and I do my best. I'm a fan first and foremost. I'm not a expert. Uh, so don't use these to bet or make survivor picks. But hopefully by the end of the season, I can have a respectable record. 9-7 and seven was decent to start with. Hoping this week to get double, digit, double digits to 10-6. That'd be nice. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, this is Monty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.